Hi, I'm Marty. And I'm Wilbur. You know, one of the best ways to get involved with your church is to get involved with a small group or an alpha group. Or a cluster group or a divisional guild. Yeah, no one calls it those things. So if you're already in a group, uh, we have some great tips to give to you on how to be more effective in your small group. Yeah, so let's put on some music. We'll start dancing around. No, just really pump this thing up. No, no, no. Let's just roll the clips. Look, it's not all about numbers, but we say the bigger the group, the better. Yeah, my group's got about 35 people in it, and I haven't had a chance to share now for mm, probably six months. But I'm sure that someday soon I'm going to get to talk again. Well, my group actually has 120 people in it. And one guy last week shared this amazing story. I'm hoping one of these times I'm eventually going to meet him. In the context of community... Community. Right, community. In the context of community, the Bible is good. But using popular sayings is the bomb. I think I have some pretty good wisdom. The other day, I told Adam that cleanliness is next to godliness. Yeah, and that's pretty powerful when you consider that God helps those that help himself. So if you feel that someone in your group is holding you accountable, and they're just a little too critical, just pass go. Walk out. Last week, Matt was in our small group, and Dora told him that he left his car lights on. And I think that's just being a little bit too critical. Well, you're right. I think that Matt saved himself a world of hurt. Okay, when it's your turn to share in your small group, be careful when going too deep. Sometimes it's best just to stay in the shallow end. Yeah, you got to be really careful before you go swimming in the deep end. Before you dive down there, you got to be really careful of all that pressure that's on your ears. So you got to get something to close your nose up, and you got to take a big, deep breath. Okay, okay, you sound like you're talking about swimming. We're supposed to be talking about small groups. Well, yeah, but water really scares me. Every group has that person or couple that dominate the conversation. So find out who they are, and as quickly as you can, make them the official group leaders. Brock and Melissa dominate our group, and we get to hear about their lives every week. Yeah, but you guys able to impart some wisdom upon them? Impart some wisdom. <laughs> we don't even get a chance to talk. <laughs> oh, man, I sure hope they're not watching this video. <gasps> we can't emphasize this enough. Plan now that you're not going to attend every group meeting. You yeah. know, going to small group every single week screams desperation. I completely agree with you. We have a couple in our small group, Adam and Brenda. They haven't been there for two and a half years. Now that screams confidence. Yeah, now that's small groups at its best. Hey, thanks for watching. Awesome small group tips. Now go and grow as a group. And yeah, maybe we can send them out with some music and some really cool dance moves and stuff. No, Wilbur, let's just...